raced at mid ohio uh with a brand new engine this time with the hybrid being introduced and uh it, it wasn't smooth sailing with at least three cars failing to start the race but scott dixon he got off uh he did a couple corners until his car just died on him nice. um so that's fantastic to hear but he he managed to get back underway th about 10 or 20 laps later on get gain some points you know as we see in supercar land yep but in terms of action, there wasn't too much. Alex Pillow looked like he was going to win the race. Uh, he actually had a poor pit stop, though, unfortunately. Uh, that was a bit weird. He had a slow exit. Uh, whether he stalled or not, I have no idea. Maybe it was but, the hybrid uh, engine. Probably, yeah. <laughs> Maybe. That's a good point. Very good point. But uh, redemption for Pato Award um, after Indy mm. 500 just missing out on the win uh, claims the victory here. So uh, at least McLaren was able to win a race this weekend. And McLaughlin was third. Emma McLaughlin was That's third. Great. How yeah. good. You love That's to see it. That's all I care about. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. It's fantastic. So let's have a quick look at the top 10 for the IndyCar series. So Award is first with Palo second. Scott McLaughlin is third with Herder fourth. Marcus Ericsson fifth. Uh, Rossi, who's actually recently been announced that he will be leaving that McLaren squad at the end of the year. Rossi, <laughs> your face lit up when he said that. <laughs> Rossi, <turned> around. <laughs> what? Uh, He's making not the return. that one. Not the quick one. <laughs> yeah. In saying that, Alex, Alex quick is quick as well, actually, though. But can I, Alex Rossi, real quick, is he leaving McLaren? Yep. At the end of the year. Oh my God! Can they make up their mind? No. <laughs> this no. is like the seventh driver of the year. Um. Everybody yeah. gets a drive. Yeah, you get a drive. Yeah, you so, get a drive. <laughs> and you get a drive. So uh, Christian Lingard, who oh finished seventh, God. he's replacing him uh, for 2025. So I swear to God, he signed a contract already. This they're year. literally the Red Bull of um, this is worse. Of this, is, <laughs> yeah. this is bad. This is well, like they've had six drivers this year in a month, at least <laughs> in a month. Because <laughs> <laughs> we had um, whoever Theo replaced, um, and then that guy who actually signed with him, signed with the team, couldn't actually end up racing because he had an injury, so he just pulled out for the whole the year. The guy who does the seat molding has quit. Yeah, yeah, I'm I'm out out here. <laughs> yeah, I know that. I'm out. And oh. then they just signed this 18 year old kid. What was his name again? Now I'll find it. Oh, um, Siegel. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. The guy who After did he Le won Le Mans. Yeah. Le Mans. He wins Le Mans and then gets signed the next day. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> of course you do. <laughs> yeah. It's McLaren. Zach like Brown's trigger happy, I'll tell you that. Oh, <laughs> i got to check my emails. Yeah, exactly. Oh, Everybody gets to drive. <laughs> <laughs> Good point. Uh, I might check. Yeah, exactly. Um, so if you're listening to this, maybe, who knows, you might be up for an IndyCar drive. McLaren, <laughs> McLaren Facebook post. It just says the S, the snake, yeah. the emoji. Yeah. yeah. Perfect. Two, two days later. Exactly. Um, <laughs> there you go. I'm looking forward to that now. Uh, P8 was Kirkwood with uh, Rasmussen in ninth. He's actually a rookie, so good result for him. And last but not least, in tenth is uh, Fritchie in there. So, yeah. Let's uh, go from a boring category, or at least this weekend anyway, to a very, very exciting one. The TFH Hire Formula RX-8 Series. 